the um, the Steve McQueen film I was very much a part of um, because um, it, they did the film straight after the race of 1970. And so I now, being involved with the film, I had uh, plenty of time to uh, not sort of chase a career so much because uh, the film actually played, paid really quite good money. Uh, there, was not, there was very little risk and um, uh, there were many days of work there. Um, so I devoted a lot of my time to driving the camera car, which was Steve McQueen's uh, film car, the film, Race Car 20. And uh, all the camera mounts were in that car. So I was pretty much, um, once the, I suppose, the excitement of doing a little more film, and a lot of drivers have found it quite boring because a lot of the time you don't do anything. Maybe all day you don't do anything. Maybe for two or three days you don't do anything because the light's not right or I don't know. So I, I, was, I was quite comfortable with that, knowing that uh, at the end of the week, the month or whatever, I'd be getting quite a nice check. Um, so it was an easier uh, way and it was every day of the week, not just a weekend. So I, I, I ended up being mainly the, the camera crew driver of that car. Spent a lot of time in uh, enjoying France. I love France anyway, so I was quite happy to be there. Um, the we had the one scene where they tried to make um, a pan shot of uh, Mike Parks in a 512 uh, overtaking um, a Ferrari, a uh, Porsche rather, Ferrari overtaking a Porsche, which shouldn't really happen. <laughs> but it, this scene was set up, and they had a camera swung out the back of of my car, and. Uh, the camera was facing the Ferrari coming up towards me and uh, as the car went by, the Ferrari went by, it touched a little boom which is, which is a switch to swing the camera around to pan as the car went by which is in the film and uh, we had to, we only did this two or three times because it was relatively they thought a dangerous maneuver half was half wasn't and it was at speed so uh, we had to be and i i remember going more to the right than i thought oh, don't hit me <laughs> so i probably wasn't quite in the position i should be but um anyway we, we did that scene and we did many other scenes with uh, with, the, with that car with the cameras on and uh, all the sound recordings were done through this car as well but really wonderful sounds of the 917 which most of which were put on the cutting floor and I remember seeing that and I thought and in hindsight should have gathered those all up and uh, kept them but uh, they did nothing with them they were just been gone <laughs>